Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Intrepid Dawn, Captain Katarn here, let's get started with Star Citizen. First of all, let's just make sure everybody can hear me, it looks like uh, they probably can, so give me a yes or no in the chat. Welcome, I, I think Twitch is having some issues, it looks like everybody that I follow is offline and uh, my stream isn't going up on Twitch, so we'll keep an eye on that, it'll probably show up there later. Uh, but I totally appreciate you, let me switch over to YouTube here real quick. Awesome. All right, thank you. Now I can see the chat, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is Star Citizen Alpha 3.3Y, as in yellow. Patch, uh, brand new, just came out today. Fixed a lot of issues that they had with the existing patches. So I, I'm, I'm really hopeful for good things with this. Real excited. All right, what's going on, chemistry guy? Yes, <laughs> I love it. All right. Glad to hear it. Hope you like the new glasses. These are way more comfortable than the old ones. I also have these, which I'll, I'll show you. Um, I also have these, which I'll probably wear at some point. Uh, these are these are my Jordi LaForge style glasses. Let's go ahead and jump in to the game itself. Uh, I didn't put I didn't put them on today. I think I kind of want to wear a Star Trek costume when I wear that. I think this is a good look for a Captain Katarn. I just need to get a new headset because one, this headset sucks, and two, it doesn't match my color scheme. So. There's an Astro Gaming headset that I think looks pretty good and uh, supposedly has really good sound quality. It's comfortable. Those are like the big thi uh, things I need. All right, so we're playing. Let me know if there's any issues with the, uh, the visuals of the stream. But should be a lot better. All right. I want to get out and take a look at Teaches. So that's going to be my primary thing. I'm going to take this uh, Mustang Citizen Con Edition because I want to show you guys the new ship. So if you're a starter, if you're buying a starter package, this is the one I recommend, for sure. Hey, what's going on, Skidmark? Good to see you. B08. Let's go ahead and go. You can hear me just fine. Holy crap. This is a first, guys. I, it looks like I solved my audio issues. Thank you. Do you like the glasses? I, I understand that they're probably an acquired taste. I like them. That's what's important. All right, first of all, do I have suit on yes i do okay the 10 aoe yeah i don't think so all right so i'm going up there to get my ship let's take a look at it this is the new mustang this is completely reworked really really cool <laughs> yeah i don't i want to talk about how much i've spent on it but i don't feel like all these other people like i've been in any way you know like uh forced to do it i i just i just don't get it I, i'm spending it because i want them to develop the game and uh, if, if you make little purchases over time, it really adds up. But here we go. So this is the brand new Mustang Alpha. This is a starter ship. And as you can see, it has the Citizen Con edition colors on it. In the back here, this is a nice little cargo area so that you can run at least a little bit of cargo so you can get started in the verse. There's not th there's also a version of this that has a uh, has a rear area with a bed and, uh, and facilities to live in. But this one is just the cargo version. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's let's open the pilot canopy so we can see it. This is pretty cool. You can see how the uh, canopy pops up there, and the the seat will actually come back for me if I want to uh, do that. So we'll go ahead and jump in, real quick. There we go. See that? All of that uh, retracts. I jump right in, and it comes down around me. I can even close the uh, canopy. There we go. And then down here we have our switches to turn on the ship. So let's find the power. Where is the power? There you go. Power on. You can see that turns on all of our electronics, our shields. Our shields are currently charging over here. <laughs> all right. There we go. Gimbaled. And let's go ahead and turn on the engine. Engine systems enabled. All right. So somebody just let me look up first. Yeah, there's a there's a ship up there, Cutlass. Just want to make sure it doesn't hit me. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, launch. All right. There we go. So we've launched up. We'll go third person so you can see it. Now this is with the landing gear down, how it looks. Very, very attractive ship. You have a lot of view. Uh, the only problem is it it's very basic. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Chaos. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, the frames are good. The frames are good. This is this is a good patch. Um You can see in here. So you've got some you got some tier ones on the front, little Toothpicks, essentially. There is a dogfighting version of this, the Delta, which is actually pretty cool. 
it, it's small. It's really hard to hit. At least it used to be. I, I don't know how it'll be with the new flight model, so we'll see. Um, if you retract the landing gear, check that out. They go in, and your wings fold down. At least they're supposed to. There we go. Okay. Try this again. They got stuck in that state. I might have to write that up as a debug report. There we go. And, and your wings uh, fold down, and you're ready to go. So this is your flying position. Now, this ship will do amazingly well with the new flight model in atmosphere. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right. Let's go ahead and get us back set up. All right. So this is the old flight model. I can do pretty much anything with this. I mean, just to, just to kind of show off the type of maneuverability a ship like this has. I can come through this ring, pull 60 degrees, full burner, and come right back out. I mean, that, that shouldn't be possible in space. But what happens is that like all the all the side thrusters have more thrust than the rear thruster, which is why they're making the changes to the flight model. You know. Um, although it'll still be cool to see what this ship does with with its low mass. Let's go ahead and pull up our uh, our map. We're gonna actually fly out to Delamar. So we'll set the route and we'll go to Teaches and we'll see if I can rent some ships. I wanna play some of that racing stuff. Here we go. So we're waiting the spool. Let's go ahead and spool up the uh, warp drive. Should have got the Idris. <laughs> Stepping up to a uh, $2,500 ship, huh? All right, let's go ahead and go. Oh, no, come on. Ready? Three, two, one. Engage. Engage. I'm going to try out how Star to Citizen runs. Uh... John, you can, you can totally change it, I'm pretty sure. You can melt your package and rebuy it if you want. Like, all you have to do is turn it back into store credit, and then you can get the Mustang. I'm thinking that the Mustang might be slightly more expensive than the Aurora, because the Aurora is very basic, but you can check them out. I think I think the starter packages are the same at 45 or 65 if you want Star Cid or uh, Squadron 42. A heck of a deal. I also have a link in the description for my referral code. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to... I'll have to double check it after the stream's over, because I don't I don't know which description I copied and pasted. One of them I found the code was broken, so that could be a bad thing. Can anyone check Twitch and let me know if that's up or if we're still down? Here, I'll tell you what. I'll I'll alt tab over and we'll check Twitch real quick, because I I really want to try to get affiliate on Twitch ASAP. No, it's still down for me. Might be down everywhere. I don't know. Okay. Let me, uh, let me jump back in here. Quantum there we go. Complete. So we're here. We've made it to Delamar. Now let's find our what port of call. Where are we going? We're going to Levski. Where the hell is Levski? There it is. Now, that's the other thing that's weird, too. I, I have to keep it higher than the ship in this. Oh, what the... Come on. There we go. Now I'm going to quick jump over there so that we get there faster. Quantum travel engaged. And since I don't really care about the Mustang, I'm totally willing to, uh, to try to risk landing in a hangar and possibly losing it. Alright, so you can see there we've gotten closer, about 52k out. So we'll do a full burn to take us down to the surface. We are in a tiny little ship that turns on a dime, so I'm not worried about crashing or anything. We'll go full burn. More rear thruster. Hey, what's going on, RC? Good to see you. You hope they make the map. It's a bit... Remake the map. Yeah, I can definitely see them doing some balance passes on all of this. I mean, it's it's one of those things that everything that you guys think of as an issue, they're, they're well aware of it. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, what dev resources are going to what at what time. All right. So we are uh, flying pretty hard here. See, we're bleeding speed too. I'm looking around for Levski. It should be up here. Yeah, once you start to see those towers in the distance and you know you're getting close, there it is. It's this one right here, this crater in the center. All right. It's not letting me go any faster than the quote max safe speed. We're going to come in nice and hot. And we'll come in Z oriented. This little asteroid doesn't have an atmosphere. Which way is up in space?
Well, he can he can melt to store credit and rebuy the package. That's what I would do. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, that must be a bug. He's usually supposed to talk to us. All right. Oh. A lot of people were parked out here, so that's making me think I should as well. Let's come on over here. Let's be safe. I don't want this guy to land on top of me, so I'll put my ship underneath this uh, nice little strut. Oh, yeah. So this is what happens when you're the captain. Look at that. Perfect landing every time. All right. All right. Got to power this thing off. And we'll exit the cockpit. All right, so now we are running for the entrance. Welcome to Levski. Levski's actually running pretty damn well, I have to say. I, I used to get like five frames a second here, and uh, it was a slideshow. And now, pretty nice actually. All right, here we are. So we're gonna go down to the customs because we can go over to the teacher's shop, which is the, uh, until until uh, Hurston comes in with the next patch, this will be the new uh, ship shop. And that'll be cool. Yeah, if you're having a good time, let me know. Hit that like button, I appreciate you. Also, do you guys like the glasses? Anyone? I worked hard on them. But I, seriously, I'm really proud of these. I can't wait to wear this. And I can actually see out of it, and it's pretty cool. I'm going to probably paint it Jordi LaForge colors. Or at least make the outside silver, and maybe the inside blue, just like to give me a unique uh, take on it. Here we go. So this is Teach's Ship Shop. Let's go ahead and call the elevator. Hey, it's already ready for me already. Take me to the top. The server is really uh, responsive. Holy crap. Before I was clicking things and it would take like three or four minutes. Nice. Nice. I mean, this this feels really good. I don't want to jinx it, but man. I mean, if they don't have more like super major bugs, I could see this as being... Uh, part of a release candidate. This is really good. Okay, so let's come on out here. And it doesn't show for me. Damn it. Okay, so what we're going to do, because I know that those are here, because I've seen them, is I'm going to quit the game real quick. I'm going to delete my user config file, and we'll be right back. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. While I do that, we'll throw up a uh, be right back page, but that's only just so that you have something to look at. One second while I quit the game. They were saying too, if you're having problems seeing teaches, it can be because of your user config file. So give me a second to find it. Uh, program files, Robert Space Industries, ETU Live, delete the user file. All sadness. All right, launch the game and and we're back to the Falcon. All right, so we are uh, good to go here. That only took a second. Mind if I ask what you're running for a graphics card? Uh, I'm running a 1080, GTX 1080, but it's... Uh, I, I don't think the graphics card really makes a huge difference here. It's mostly your CPU, especially now that it's spread around all your cores. So I, I have a uh, Core i7-4790K, Devil's Canyon, like top of the line 2013. So it's, it's old. All right, let's get back in. Try this again. It loads quickly, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, man, I, I am as well. Can't wait to see the leaks. <sighs> you can see the, my chair in the back. I'm not sponsored by DX Racer, so even though I absolutely love these, I won't show them off. Go ahead and switch. All right. Oh man, so we got, we got to go back, but you know what? We showed you the Mustang. Let's show you something else. What other ship do you want to see? Go ahead. No, not November citizens. Uh, 
Sorry, my wife and I, we lost that today. Uh, let's see. All right, uh, maybe we'll take the new Valkyrie, just to show you guys it. Actually, no, let's take the 600i. It was supposedly fixed. I don't know if it's going to spawn. We'll see if it does. Ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Okay. Okay. Yes! B0, boo. <laughs> it's on landing pad boo. That's perfect for Halloween. All right, I is it out there? I'm thinking it didn't actually spawn. I don't have a waypoint to it. There it is. Now it's out there. Okay. So let's check it out. <sighs> yeah, the 600i has been broken this entire uh, PTU, except now. We'll pull the Valkyrie out a little later. Arr, there she is. 600i. Pinnacle of Origin jump works. Actually, no, probably the, the 890 jump is is better. But for me, this is uh, this is as rich as my blood gets. And I'll also be melting this once I have the opportunity, so. Uh, no! Oh, shit. Okay, it is here. Okay, good. I thought it was all screwed up. Again. Oh, the elevator? Oh, that's looking good. Yeah. Yeah, coming out of the back of your neck there. All right. All right, so let's get on the elevator. There we go. Go to the top deck, and I will show you guys around. So this is my ship. For now, I'm going to melt this. I don't plan on keeping it. Origin 600i, an exploration vehicle. You can see up here we have the bridge, and we'll be going through it. The bridge is very spacious. You can see... Around you have three main stations. You have a captain seat plus two gunners that activate remote turrets, which is pretty cool. In the back, and we got to move quickly, so we have escape pods here for the bridge command crew. In the center here, we have a cool display, and I'll be interested in seeing what we can do with that. Over here, we have two scanning stations, which will help us find new targets as well as uh, help with other parts of the ship. All right, back up here we have a armory and locker, which will be filled in later. And then in here we have a luxurious, and I do mean luxurious, bar setting. Here you can see. We, we only stock the best here, and you can also see down below. So if the bartender is cute, the view is definitely from below. <laughs> I just thought about that. Perverts, but I like it. Uh, so we have, we have chicks here uh, manning the bar, and of course... That's pretty bad. I gotta hurry up and get this off the pad. All right, so over here we have uh, some tables and a nice little seating area, very cool. And down here, we're just doing an abbreviated tour. We have the kitchen and really cool area. And then back here we have some entertainment with the, uh, the big screen and a full table. Yeah. All right, there's a whole nother deck to this ship because we're on the top level, but we're going to get out of here. It has room for a rover so that we can put a rover down there or dragonfly or anything that we want, really, that could fit in that cargo space. You can see it down below. That is the cargo space. And this thing also holds, uh, I, I think, 96, maybe, SCU. It holds a good deal. Let's go ahead and get in and flight ready this thing. You have to get in from this side. Okay. And it... Thumbs down for me. There we go. All right, so we're going to go straight to flight ready so I can get out of here. Let's go ahead and uh, figure that. There we go. Origin jump boards at your service. Core system operational. All right, so our thrusters are taking off. Very good. We have achieved flight. And you can see it from the outside. This thing is gorgeous. It's huge, too. Absolutely huge. And that's me up in the captain's seat. There is a bed down below for the captain's quarters with the greatest view in the universe. Of course, you take your uh, take your loved ones down there. And here we're going to fold up the uh, fold up the landing gear and prep ourselves for takeoff. Okay, so they did add 
some kind of pads to the landing gear. That's good. <laughs> Before it used to just be smooth, so I just figured how messed up the hull would be. Sorry, we're turning because I'm uh, not... There we go. Now I have to, since I had to kill my stuff, let's go in here. Do some quick key bindings. Flight advanced. Alright, cockpit. Eject. Absolutely not. That would be a problem. Unbind. Uh, Self-destruct. Okay, good. Let's see, movement. I need my afterburner to be set up. Actually, I need my control profiles to be set up. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick, because I'm sure... That's probably why, yeah, we definitely don't want that. Self-destruct, don't know which one that is, so we definitely want to turn that off. Go to movement, I need afterburners. Mapped. Alright, there we go. And targeting, I also need my gimbal lock. There we go, gimbal lock is done. That's all I need. Well, let's go ahead and get that... Ship gimbal locked, good to go. All right. Now this is a big ship, so even with this flight model, it still doesn't turn on a dime, but it probably turns much faster than it should. So let's go ahead out and hit Delmar again and, and see how we do. There we are. Set the route. You can see it uses very little quantum fuel compared to what we have. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and align ourselves for warp. This is the captain. We are prepping for our approach to Delamar. Please stow all tray tables in their upright and fully locked position. And we'll have you there in no time. Thank you for flying. Captain Guitar and Airways. Let's do it. We should fly the Ring of Elysium. Maybe, maybe we'll do that on a, a Twitch exclusive right after this. We could do something like that. <laughs> Alright man, you, you have a great night. I hope you feel better. Absolutely, uh, skid marks. This is a game that will excel with a group. You can have fun by yourself, surely. I mean, they're, they're building that in. But playing with friends in a game like this is, is where, you know, the fun really happens. Because other people and the interactions that you can do are always going to be better than anything that's scripted. It's part of what makes online games great, but a game like this can take it to another level. When you have all of this fidelity. All right. Quantum drive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My, my thrusters are flipping out. Come on, come on. Get control of it. Get control of it. What's going on? I don't know. My up is down. Okay. That's, that's not good. All right, there we go. We got control again. I don't know what was happening. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Everything seems to be okay. Now, where the hell is Levski? There it is. All right. Set rotations for Levski. And engage. Now, the difference is on that other ship, I could fly into Levski at 1,000 miles an hour, and it didn't matter. On this ship, it's really going to matter, because if I, if I don't do this right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to crash into the planet's surface. So we'll just really have to watch our speed as we come in. Quantum drive deactivated. All right. So basically, whenever I'm landing on one of the moons right now, I always try to back off at about, with a ship like this, like 15 to 20 kilometers away from the surface. Now, we're coming in at more of an angle like that. So I don't think it's going to be as bad. I can probably pull up, but let's not chance it. Let's pull back up Levski here. 36 kilometers just gives me an idea of the distance. Once I get to 20 kilometers, I'm gonna start pulling back the throttle and get this uh, get this thing under control. There we go. All right, we'll pull back the throttle to about 18 or so. Try to bleed off some of the speed. You can see that we're coming in pretty hot, but we're still on vector. Looks good. This is Captain Guitar, and I have the ball. All right, good. Pulling it back more. 
All right, firing retro rockets to slow down. Oh. We're probably gonna overshoot it slightly. Trying to bleed as much speed as we can, but it's not working. Big ship like this just doesn't slow down. All right, so we're gonna overshoot our landing quite a bit, but at least we're not gonna hit the surface. Hey there, on behalf of the People's Alliance, welcome to Levski. Name's Eslin, I run the hangars here, which is great for you because you're probably looking to land. Yep, you know it. All right, let's go full power this way. Okay, we're trying to slow this slow this behemoth down. Okay, so yeah, it's it's gonna really take a little bit of finagling to uh, to fly one of these big ships. All right, now I got it pointed in the right direction. We'll just. I don't think that this one has any retro thrusters. I think that's part of the problem. So we got to be really really careful with that as we come in. I'm gonna have it put down on one of the big pads too. I don't have. Uh, have time for that. All right, you guys having fun in the chat? Yeah? All right, we're going to slow it down. Maybe. I'm going to slow it down. All right, there we go. Probably stop at some point. Let's go ahead and pull up our uh, contacts. And let's go ahead and uh, contact Levski Landing Control. See if I can get a hangar. Uh, maybe not. I didn't see anything. Did they assign me one? There we go. Uh, if they did, I don't see it. Let me try again. Maybe I'm not close enough. I come in just slightly. Like I said, this is a huge ship. Okay. Try that again. Omlink. Contacts. Levski landing control. And there. Hangar assigned. All right, we got it. Good stuff. Which one is he giving me? I can't tell. It looks like right below us. Nope. Not that one. It's going to be on the right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Start jetting our thrusters to the right. I'm holding down the stick to do this. You can see here what I'm doing. I'm going to start bringing it down too. So that we hit the, hit the lane a little bit. Go forward. I don't have any backwards thrusters. Oh, shit. Almost. Got to be really careful. Like I said, I don't. I don't think this ship. Maybe it does now. When it first came out, it didn't have any rear thrusters, so you had to be really, really careful. There we go. We made it. Okay. Not not the best landing. Touchdown! But it's landing good. Landing complete. Let's open the exterior. Let's engine off. And uh, let's leave the captain seat. All right, so we made it to Levski, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, John, you need it on an SSD, buddy. You really should not be playing this game on a non-SSD. Period. Oh, 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 are we going to crash? No, yay, we didn't crash. All right, so I'm getting the elevator to take me out, but I have the ship opened up so you guys can see the uh, cargo pads. Take me exit ship. Uh, I'm fine with the auto land. They have one now. There's a lot of people that need it. Ah, uh, drop your gear and use it as an air brake. Maybe, uh, maybe in the future that'll work. You can see right here. This is our this is our cargo slash uh, rover holder. So you drive your rover onto here, and then it it shoots up in there into the container. Like I said, there's a whole another deck that I haven't shown you guys, but we'll look at that later. Here it is. So we've got Levski uh, here. Let's hope that Teaches is there. Although it just may be my luck that I'm not going to get to see it. Some people have reported some issues with that. Yeah? Is that how it is? Okay. Well then. Him and his brother can, can watch my ship. I'll toss him a nickel. 
if you are a great captain. Hardly. <laughs> I kind of overshot it and nearly died. But we made it. All right, it was doing so well. Hopefully it's just that the elevator has to take a long time to get here. There we go. Let's see if I can just go. There we go. All right, it's it's doing really nicely. All right, so here we are again, just where we were before. Just came out on a different side. Teaches is over here. We'll see if it's there. If not, we'll figure out something else to do. I want to go take a look at those rest stations as, as well. And maybe pull out the Valkyrie. And we'll take the Valkyrie to the rest station. Seems to work for me. On the elevator now. Can't hear it. That might be the elevator sound. There we go. Elevators here. And let's go up to Teach's Ship Shop. Alright. Let me check, uh... I'd like to see if Twitch is still having problems with the Twitch machine. No. And then a box. Maybe it's just me. The front. So even here with this the weirdest thing. This time. Error code five thousand. Let's see what that means. Huh. It, it doesn't like my bitrate. It was fine with it yesterday. The last time we streamed. Oh well. Sorry about that. Alright, here we are. And... And... Still empty. Son of a bitch. Okay, but the terminals might work. They don't have one here yet. So that's annoying. I, I know it exists, I've seen it on other people, but for some reason I, I can't experience the awesome that is Teach's chip shop. Okay. Alright. Plan B. We're gonna go take the Valkyrie and go out to the new space station. And then I'm gonna try to get a grav, uh, grav race. Let's see, I have a uh, tumbrel, I think. I want to say I have a tumbrel. Let me see if there's any missions for that. Uh, waiting on my package, personal. How about racing? No, there's no racing up right now. They must be having a race. So what do we have? We have maintenance, looking for a runner to remove some bio waste. Mercenary, delivery. Let's, let's, get, the, let's get the delivery. Go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to the uh, Kovalex station. We'll take the Valkyrie for this. You guys get to see it. Retrieve it here. Skidmarks is now a member of the Intrepid Elite, and thank you to the other person that subscribed as well. I can't see it. Uh, I can't pronounce your name. Hangar 3. Alright, which one's Hangar 3? Here it is. Hangar 3, let's go ahead and call the elevator. So we're going to go to Kovalex, and we're going to do this mission. And then when a racing mission pops up, we'll take that one as well. There's a guy. Wish I could see what their name is, before I just send them a random invite. Totally didn't mean to send them an invite, I just wondered what would happen if I clicked on them. And apparently that's what happens. 
If he joins, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to kick him, because I have no soul. John, the SSD will help everything, man. You're streaming in and out packages of data constantly. I mean, the, the whole thing has changed. Anything that's... What the hell's up with you, bro? Yeah? See a rat up there or something? Yeah, the NPCs are all screwed up. Here's the Valkyrie. Let's turn on my light. You can see how, uh, how crazy it looks in here. The lighting. I think this is like awesome Blade Runner style. Doesn't show off the ship very well, though. Jump in. So, ever since one of the latest patches, either I'm not finding the right notch to uh, open the ship in the back, or maybe it can't be done anymore. But I can always get in, usually right here. Yeah. Have to get close enough. There we go. Alright, so that opens up kind of like a Clone Wars Jedi, or uh, Clone Wars Transport. What the hell? Come on. Oh, this is not good. Are you kidding me? It's, it's hurting me and I'm not getting on. Come on, vaulting. Ah. Alright, so that makes me wonder if if there's like a very specific place I need to click. There it is. Okay, it's at the top. Alright, I'm in. Woo. That was pretty scary. We'll open this one too for dramatic effect. That way they're both open and then we'll close this up. I think this ship is actually hurting me. You can see that. It, it's, uh, it's biting me. Alright, so this is the ship. We'll take a look at it when we get out in the daylight. Let's go up to the bridge. Cockpit. Enter the pilot seat. Good to go. Alright, let's pull up our comms. And get them to open up the door so I can get out of here. You're clear to take off. Yeah. Let's go straight to flight ready. Now you can see with a little bit of light on, it's actually pretty good looking. Let's just lift straight up. There we go. I'm gonna put up the landing gear, which will turn the turrets forward into our vertical takeoff and landing position. And now we're uh, blasting off from the planet. See it from my perspective, you can see here that we're going up to full speed. We're gonna throw the afterburner on for good measure. And we're gonna blast for space. Take a look at this once we get out into the sunlight. It'll be gorgeous, I bet. So we are uh, we're headed for the surface, and we have to go to Kovalev, which... Let's figure out where that is. I gotta go over here. Damar. I think we can make it on a straight shot. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, they, they say I have to go that way, huh? I just want to set the route, but they're saying I have to go Crusader, then Daymar. Okay. So that's new. It's plotted mini jumps for me. I'm fine with that. It's neat. Alright, let's go ahead and get that ready. So, spool up the engines. And here we can see it a little bit better in the sunlight. Not quite, but you can see the front of it. It's fairly very Aliens-esque dropship. I like it. Looks cool. Uh, didn't mean to do that. All right, ready to go. Let's do it. This will look pretty cool in Quantum too. There we go. Look at that. That is a sexy ship. You can 
see the turrets underneath and I don't know what those are. Those landing gear feet, maybe? I, have no, I haven't really looked at the landing gear that much, but that would make sense if those things in the center came down. Alright, now this ship's gonna look good, so let's let's turn sideways. Oh, crap, we got a Crusader right in front of us. It's blocking out the sun. And we're on the dark side of the gas giant, which is why it doesn't look great. Alright, now we gotta go to Kovalex. Let's do that. Let me gimbal lock this before we fly around all over the place. Alright, just waiting for a quantum drive to spool up here. There we go. Maybe. Alright. And engage. Alright, so since the station and the planet rotate, it's on the far side from me, so I'm going to need to find a satellite or something to jump to. That will help me. Okay, we can, uh, here we can jump right there. OM2, and that'll put me on that side, and then I should be able to get there. So just using some orbital mechanics, we can get there pretty quickly. So that helped a lot. Bottom drive is now on. Awesome. You got a 1070. I like it. Alright, let's uh let's go down real quick. Alright, so we're gonna just make the final jump into Kovalex, which is our mission objective. And we'll see how this goes. Could lead to some new business too. Usually if you're a guy that can get things done, you end up speaking to one of the higher-end NPCs eventually. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get my reputation up a little bit. Alright. Go ahead in here and go to Kovalex. Uh, hopefully nobody's here, or if they are, they're friendly. I always shoot first. I don't wait for other people, so kind of a dick like that. Pushing our thrusters up. Okay, this is good. This is, <clears throat> this is a nice light lit area. So here, take a look at the ship now that we have a chance. You can see just why I like it so much. It looks really good. It's got great lines to it. It's deceptively big, like almost the entire interior is interior which is nice. There's not a lot of dead space, so it feels huge inside and uh, fits on a small landing pad, too. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to take this up a little bit, bring it over a little more so I'm nice and flush against this. Okay, and that's good. We'll stop right there. Okay. Now we want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere, so we'll turn the engine off. And I will leave the power on, though, because that leaves up the shields. Oh, shit! Did you guys see that? Hopefully he doesn't attack me, but there is a uh, Avenger straight off. Oh, he's not going to attack me, apparently. Of course, I don't, I don't want to shoot him. I normally do shoot people in these situations, but... I want to just have my pistol out just in case he's hostile. But the thing is, if I, if I shoot him, that's a bug for sure. The thing is that if I... Oh, get away from it. Ah, st stay away from the ladder! Okay. Thing is, if I shoot him, he's gonna shoot me back, and I don't want that. A lot of people in the in the universe are nice. Some of them aren't. You never know what you're dealing with. Now we're gonna EVA, and you can kind of see how I'm doing this. An EVA into the station, and we're gonna find that package. Shit, that's not what we wanted. Go back into first person. Let's keep that up. Package is up there. We're on our way. It's above us. Problem is, when you carry the package, you are completely and totally vulnerable. You can't have a weapon in your hand, so you got two hands on this package. Woo! I keep getting stuck on everything. 
In zero G, if you touch something, it bumps you over. All right, so the package is out there. We're gonna have to go out there to get it. Like I said, I hope that he's not here to steal my ship. All right, roll takes you down. Here we go. Whoa. Keep running into stuff. I like to have a Superman mode where I try to put my legs straight behind me. That would be a lot easier. Okay, so where is that package? Up above, huh? Let's see if I can get there from here. I might be able to. Yeah, looks like I can. All right, I found the package. Get out of here. Let's go ahead and pick it up. We have to deliver the crate back to Levski. Be interesting. Assuming that he's not here for the same mission, because he could be. And in that case, we would be enemies, and he would probably try to shoot me to take it. To do the job. So there's that. What I... Ah! I keep, I keep hitting it. Damn it. What I want to do is use this door over here to get out the fast way and get the hell out of here. Oh, no. Open up. There we go. Oh no, what happened to my Valkyrie? Did somebody blow it up? Is it not here anymore? Did he blow it up? Did it fly away? I mean, if I have to, I could steal his Avenger, I suppose. Oh dude, that guy totally probably jacked my Valkyrie. Damn it. That's probably why he didn't shoot me. He wanted my ship. Alright. Let's see if I can steal this guy's ship if he left it unlocked. Otherwise, we might have to get something to pick us up. You can see, to me, this always looks like the space shuttle. This is kind of like an advanced starter. It can do a bunch of different things. It has a uh, has a ramp in the back where you can get into and grab cargo. It's It's actually a really nice little ship. And it's been overhauled for Squadron 42, so you know it's good. He took it? Son of a bitch! The least he could have done was to leave his fucking ship open for me. I'm so angry right now. I just got ship jacked, ladies and gentlemen. Does not feel good. Alright, let's go ahead and set up a beacon. I need somebody to pick me up. Oh, no, we gotta get that. It's gonna fly away. Can I stow it? Shit, I hit it really hard. Alright. Good. Let's put it over here. So it doesn't get away. So when I use the beacon, I'm going to have to drop it, apparently. You know how that is. There we go. In space, whichever way it's going, it's going to continue to go that way. Alright, so... Okay, so it won't let me do that. That's not cool. Come on. Uh-oh. I'm totally gonna die here. Mayday, mayday! My Moby Glass is bugged and I can't call anyone for help. Maybe it still thinks I have a package, so if I drop the package... Then I can use the Moby Glass? Where'd it go? I dropped it and... It's just gone? Or do I still have it? No, I still have it. Okay. Alright, we'll just stay close to it. Nope. I'm gonna freaking die out here. Ladies and gentlemen, you never want to die alone. 
Oh, look at that. Just hitting it with that energy sending on its way. That's cool physics right there. Yeah, there again. Now I now I keep changing the trajectory of it. I love this. We're gonna play we're gonna play soccer with this. We'll see if I can change it the other way. There we go. Look at that. Make sure we save one in the chamber for me, because I'm sure as hell not gonna sit here till my oxygen runs out. Space jacked and everything else today. Pretty rough. Alright. So unfortunately I couldn't see teaches today. Could be uh, a number of things, but hopefully next patch we'll get that fixed. Like I said, we gotta save one for me. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Katarn. I hope that you've had fun with Star Citizen tonight. Some late night Star Citizen. Oh. What a way to end. I will see you in the verse. Thanks for watching.